Hello there. In this lecture, we'll see a few other basic operations uh, on top of uh, data frame. Let me just create another uh, object. Basic operations part two. Now, uh, let me create a main function. And import the Spark session. Okay, now I have my Spark session. Now let me create a uh, data frame. Again, I'll take the customer data frame. Uh, I'll create the data frame with Spark dot read dot. Uh, otherwise, I, I'll create the data frame as the same uh, thing like here from the ORC file. Okay. Now that I have created the data frame, right? Let me just uh, print out. Uh, top five rows customer df dot uh, I have shown you the difference right head of uh, uh, 10 when I use it I have to use for each to print each element right otherwise it will just take out uh, the top 10 uh, elements it will not print the elements right I just want to view the elements so I have I'm, I'm taking and I'm printing the elements right uh, I'm printing it Let's see. It's running. Yeah. Now we have top uh, ten elements, and you can also see the uh, notice the difference with uh, uh, taking ten elements and printing each thing and uh, uh, showing the elements. Right? Showing the elements will print a tabular form, a nicely designed tabular uh, tabular form of view, uh, whereas. Uh, uh, for each print element, we'll print out the list of uh, elements, right? I can see the difference here before I show something else. Show of 10. Um, it will show the 10 uh, columns or 10 rows in a perfectly uh, formatted uh, tablet view. Right? And like this. Now, uh, in this, there are lots of columns are there, right? Uh, in these columns, I want to select only uh, certain, uh, certain columns like customer identifier or customer type and uh, LOB I want to select and tax identifier I want to select. Uh, okay, these are the four columns which I want to select from my data frame, right? So, uh, data frame also provides certain uh, uh, functions to select elements or to, share, to select columns from the uh, data frame. Suppose uh, from this uh, customer DF, I want to select uh, four columns, right? So I can use a function called select and I can pass in the column names into this select function. Like suppose I want to call, I want to pass in, I want to select the customer identifier. So I'll give uh, customer identifier, comma. If I want to select one more column, I can select, I can give a comma and I can pass in the other column name like this how many ever columns I want to I can take in right and uh, what is the other one LOB right L O B okay these are the uh, columns I want to select right once I select the columns what I want to do whatever uh, here I am selecting right it returns a another data frame right uh, either we can collect the uh, uh, rows or the data frame whatever this uh, function is returning or whatever this data frame is returning uh, I can or what I can do instead of uh, capturing it uh, what I'll do I'll just uh, I'll take uh, 10 elements or I'll just uh, show the 10 elements or the 10 rows uh, from whatever columns we have selected it will not uh, save anything it will just uh, show the contents whatever we have selected let's see how to do that and And you can see it is uh, showing the 10 rows from the uh, four columns, whatever it is selecting, right? Uh, suppose from this uh, four columns, right, uh, whatever I have selected, I want to uh, I want to print only columns with ORG, uh, with customer type as ORG, right? How I can do that? I have selected these four columns. Among these four columns, I want to print out only column 
uh, call uh, only rows uh, with the column type uh, or customer type as org. So I can use something like a where clause, where clause, uh, or uh, in the where clause, what I can do, I can uh, put in as customer underscore type. This is my customer type, right? Where customer type is equals to in the single quotes, you can mention what what is the customer type you want to print in. I want to take customer type of org, right? Uh, I have given something like this. This is one way of uh, uh, taking it, right? So whatever result I'm getting from this statement, I'll save into a, uh, a variable. I'll save in as selected columns or I'll, I'll do something, uh, filtered columns, fil filtered columns. Right, uh, filtered columns is my, or, or otherwise I'll do filtered data now if it makes more sense, right? And now what I'll do, I'll take the filtered uh, df dot show. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm taking a, uh, what I'm doing, I'm taking the data frame, customer data frame, and I'm selecting only four columns which I require. Among these four columns, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, taking only the rows or only the um, uh, only the rows which have the customer type as org, right? Now let me execute it, and you can see how it prints out. What are the what are all the things which you can do with an SQL statement? You can do all the things with uh, a data frame, right? So you can see you have applied a select, uh, you have used a select column to filter out only the columns you require, and you have used a where clause uh, to get or to filter out the uh, uh, rows based on the, uh, based on your condition. Now, um, we have used a where clause for, fil uh, for filtering out the customer type as org. Uh, there is another function uh, to filter out the, uh, filter out the columns, that is a filter function. Filter, I'll use customer df. So what I'll do, in the customer df, uh, I'll take the column name customer underscore type equals to org. Where customer type is equals to org. Okay, here I have to give three equals. When I'm using a filter function, I can, uh, what I'm telling to my filter function, I'm passing the column uh, of customer df, right? I'm passing the column of the customer df. Which column I'm passing? I'm passing customer type. And in this customer type, I'm, I'm checking the customer type uh, column for org, and I'm filtering out only the rows which, uh, where the customer type is org, right? This is another way of uh, filtering. Uh, let's try to run this and see the results. And uh, this also works fine, right? Uh, this is another way of uh, filtering, right? Either you can use a where clause to filter or you can use a filter function to filter. Okay, uh, this is how you uh, uh, use a filter function or a where function or a select uh, function, right? Uh, there is something else I can show you. Mm. Okay tax identifier and uh, let me just let me just print the schema here and see uh, what are the columns available in here so that I can see how we can show other things yeah I can do this way okay uh, there is another function called a uh, group by function right uh, this is one thing uh, there is something called group by what is this group by function? It's, it's as the name says, it groups the data frame based on certain column, right? Uh, suppose I want to uh, group the cust uh, group the uh, data frame based on my uh, customer type column, right? And uh, let's see how I can do that. Uh, I I what I do? I'll just mention a group by customer and. Uh, group by and I'll mention the customer type as my column uh, so it it, it 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 tries to group by the customer data frame with the column 
Now, on top of it, what I can do, I want to see uh, that a customer type is either ORG or there will be IND or something, right? I want to see what is the count for each uh, customer type, how many customers are there for uh, under each uh, customer type, right? So what I'll do, I'll just use count operation on top of group by. What I'm doing, I'm selecting certain columns and I'm grouping by uh, customer type and I'm selecting the count of uh, how many customers are there under each type, right? Uh, let's see what does it uh, show. I'm just printing this print schema now it is trying to do the group by and you can see here uh, customer type uh, org has 20 uh, customers and customer type individual as has 80 uh, 80 uh, customers right so this is how you use the group by function as well right uh, there are other functions also such as join and you can do the right uh, join or inner join or something like that those are all little uh, uh, complex and advanced topics which I'll be discussing uh, in advanced uh, spark section That's it for this lecture guys and uh, see you in the next lecture. Bye guys